Vectors in 3 space are 3, sometimes 3D. Now, here we'll try to understand what are vectors and how we have come to this stage. So let's look back. How have we been representing vectors till now? So first, directed line segments represented geometric vectors or free vectors. I hope you remember that. When we say a vector from point A to point B, where A is the tail and B is the head, correct? So that is a geometric vector. Cartesian vectors or an algebraic vector in R2 is plotted on a grid and can be written in ordered pair notation like with the square brackets A and B. So to show you that, what we used to do is in R2 we had a coordinate plane which has two axes, X and Y, correct? And any point here could be represented with A and B let us say this point is P, then a vector from origin to point AB will be a position vector and this position vector you can say OP or you could also say as P and this was written as equal to A comma B in square brackets. So we use square brackets so that once you see square brackets you are sure we are representing a vector, not just a point, right? At times, we will write in parentheses this, but then we will specify that vector P is this, right? So that is what we used to do when we were working R2. So this is in R2, that is two dimension, 2D. An algebraic vector in R3 is written as an ordered triple. A, B, C. So in R3 what we do is we just extend this concept and now our vector P will be written as equals to A, B and C. So and this is called an ordered triple. Right? So this was an ordered pair. Do you see that? Ordered pair 2 and ordered triple 3. They represent the coordinate points on the three axes. So an algebraic vector in R3 is written as an ordered triple ABC. It is plotted on a three-dimensional coordinate system called three space or R3. So when, whenever we are saying R3, then you have to think about a three-dimensional space system, right? Which will be like this. So that is our three-dimensional space system where we have x, y and z axis as shown here with origin and all these three axes are orthogonal or at right angles to each other. Geometric definition aids in our visualization as you can see, whereas the algebraic definition using coordinates aids in computation. So we'll explore more, adding, subtracting vectors, calculating, multiplying, and solving many problems. Algebraic vectors, when we have these coordinates, help us to do the problems more easily. But as you saw, we did a lot of applications using geometric vectors. They give us visual look and feel and help us approach and solve a problem. So with this, you also understand the difference between geometric vectors and algebraic vectors. Geometric vectors are given with two points starting and end point and ordered pair provides specification or the definition of an algebraic vector. Ordered pairs in 2D and ordered triple in 3D represents algebraic vectors in R2 and R3 respectively. Major advantage of giving the coordinate points is to help compute results. Right? So keep this in mind while we move forward with exploring vectors in 3 space. Thank you.